I need toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. I'm out of toilet paper. It's my corona. I need toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. Welcome back to Duty Dispatch number five in the year of the corona. The toilet paper conundrum. One of the great issues of our time in the year of the corona seems to be our worldwide shortage of toilet paper and our inability to attack and solve this problem with any semblance of competency. As the old bromide goes, we can put a man on the moon and soon Mars to update the cliché, but we can't figure out how to wipe our asses on a daily basis without raising the challenge to a national crisis. Since this is a duty dispatch, after all, I felt it my obligation to tackle the issue. As is the hallmark of a Dr. Don duty dispatch, we strive to be part of the solution, not the problem. I realize this is a sensitive issue, but I think it's time we had this discussion. Here's the situation. We're two months into the year of the corona, and on any given day or any time of day, a trip to my local Walmarts yields an entire aisle of empty shelves where once stacks of toilet paper stood ready in any variety you can imagine to clean the crusty chasm. What's going on? Well, I mean, there's the obvious. We're all home and increasing the bathroom traffic to rush hour levels, thus using up our personal supplies of toilet paper at an exponentially increased clip. Rather than using everybody else's when we all actually work for a living. Then there's the not-so-obvious and less appealing reality that the significant others that surround us are more substantially full of shit than we ever even imagined. Whatever the cause, the problem is mounting. And while they claim the supply chain is intact, before we deforest the entire planet just to wipe our way our crisis, I've got some suggestions and alternatives. First, think conservation. We can all agree that morning is the time when we generally void ourselves of bodily fluids that we no longer have any use for. So you need to blow your nose with that wad of toilet paper first, turn it over, then let it do, well, double duty as an asswipe. The variety of choices are impressive, from slick, high-end magazines like Travel and Leisure, I mean, just... Rip your favorite page out. I mean, who doesn't want to wipe their ass in the streets of Copenhagen? To virtually everything in between. You can use packing material if you like. Even this. Cardboard. I mean, it's more appropriate to scraping than wiping, but you never know when the need may arise. And good old-fashioned newspaper. You know, the the, the go-to wipe. You just snipping into good size usable wipes. I heard people complain that the ink will rub off and <laughs> leave a dirty smudge. Come on, man. Are you serious with that? I mean, you're wiping your ass for God's sake. A little smudge isn't going to be your problem. And for those millennials on down the age gap, if you rely solely on your smartphone for reading material, and unless you got an ass wipe app, you're going to need some more innovative alternatives. Consider the hand wipe. None other than the venerable Dr. Oz suggested that you simply use your hand to take a healthy swipe between your cheeks and then just wash your hands. Um, a reasonable solution. My only suggestion would be to increase the corona washing guidelines from 20 seconds of soap and water to maybe 30 seconds. Then add a dollop of industrial strength cleaner to the hand soap and wipe dry with a sheet of 600 grit sandpaper to scrape off any residual morsels. If all else fails, consider the bread wipe. A single slice of white bread will do the trick. Like soft, moist, cushiony towelettes with little pockets to capture, well, you know, stuff. Another wonderful use for that amazing loaf of Wonder Bread. And the last time I checked, the shelves at the Walmarts were absolutely full of it. Hey, you all right in there? Um, just looking for a roll of toilet paper. I'll be right out. 
Got to go. See you next time. I'm coming. I need toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. I'm out of toilet paper. It's my paper.